Hey kid. Hey. You want to make some stamps? <laughs> <laughs> I I want to make some stamps. I I want to make some stamps. I know you can buy stamps. I know you can buy stamps. Look, you can buy stamps, but I want to make stamps. I want to 3D print stamps. I want to see if it works. That is all I want to do. Let's do this. Let's see if we can make stamps. I chose to create the design in Fusion 360 just because I'm absolutely rubbish at it. Create a new design, create a new sketch within that design, choose the XY plane and create a rectangle. You need 30 by 40 millimeters. that's what I used. It's about the right size for a small stamp. Once you've created that rectangle, you then finish the sketch and you extrude it upwards by 6 millimeters. Once you've done this, you need to construct a offset plane, stick it on top of the existing block and this is where you insert an SVG file which hopefully you've got if not you'll need to prepare one and this is used for the design of the actual stamp center it resize it and then once again we've got to extrude this you'll have to select the individual parts of the SVG file as necessary extrude it upwards and I went with two millimeters here again as you'll see at the end it doesn't hurt to go a little deeper maybe four millimeters might work better once we've got that we're ready to go to Cura to sort out the print details in Cura the only thing worth mentioning is the ironing setting which smooths the top of the model while it's being printed if you're lying it on its back during the printout extremely useful for something like a stamp where you want a really smooth surface on the top so I highly recommend doing that get it sliced and send it to your printer honorable mention to Octoprint here if you do not use Octoprint you need to use Octoprint with your 3d printer it is an absolute game changer it recorded this time-lapse automatically we're done let's have a look at what we've got as it happens I printed out more stamps than just the one and I also tried printing out in TPU which is the first test we're doing here it looks okay actually it looks okay it's not great it's okay this is PLA and that's not okay <laughs> there's nothing okay about that but there's a trick there's a trick I'm going to show you now, which is the PLA stamps need something soft underneath. Tissue, in this case it's a piece of foam packaging. And look, it suddenly prints just as well, almost as well. And this save icon <laughs> prints perfectly fine too on PLA. So we're not seeing a lot of difference between PLA and TPU other than you can get a much neater finish with ironing on PLA. And TPU is more tolerant to the surface underneath. I think we have learned things from this. I think we've learned that when you make a stamp yourself, 
you can't compete with a commercially produced one. But I also think that we've learned that it's still worth doing. You still do get good results. You still can get a very usable stamp. And if you design it well, you get better results. And you can use you can use PLA filament to make your stamp and that works. And you can use TPU filament to make your stamp and that works. And if you make your stamp out of a out of a hard filament, you can put something soft behind it and it will work. If you make your stamp out of a soft filament, TPU, for example, you put something hard behind your paper when you stamp and that will work. So I'm quite happy with the outcome here and I think there's a lot of scope to improve on this. And that is what I will do going forward. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, please like and also please stick around for more of this kind of content. Thank you for watching.